One of the biggest problems with writing Chinese names in English is that they were originally based on characters, not alphabetically written words. And while these characters all have a unique story behind them, many were pronounced the exact same way, while romanization systems only write a word as it's pronounced. That means that all 39 of these characters will end up being transliterated as E, even though they all have their own interesting backgrounds. But then it gets even more complicated because the English language doesn't have tones like Chinese does. Now we have to combine E with E. E and E, which are all written and pronounced as Yi in English speaking cultures. In the end, over 70 different characters can get condensed into the exact same English name, which can lead to Americans having reductive stereotypes towards Chinese people. And that's not even getting into how the different romanization systems can cause further confusion. Like America only stopped using the Wade Giles system toward the end of the 20th century, meaning that a lot of early names have weird overlap with later pinyin transcriptions. Finally, the order of Chinese names poses yet another problem because they put the family name first as opposed to last in the Western tradition. For several different reasons, these can get inconsistent sorted in official documentation, meaning that first and last names historically sometimes get confused across cultural and linguistic boundaries.